And as COVID-19 news fills headlines, there's another vaccine we need to start considering. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brooke Lennington. Flu shots are already available at some pharmacies and cold and flu season is just right around the corner. And our KSNT news reporter Cassie Nichols is live in southwest Topeka. So Cassie, you spoke with a pharmacist earlier. What are they recommending? Brooke, here at Jayhawk Pharmacy, they are encouraging people to get flu shots. They're actually calling the flu COVID's forgotten cousin. They say flu cases in Kansas were down last year because of all of the precautions taken with COVID, like mask wearing and social distancing. But that doesn't mean the virus should be taken lightly. As many children return to in-person learning, experts are concerned about the upcoming flu season, along with the implications for hospitals that are already pushed to limits of capacity due to the COVID-19 Delta variant. Initially, there was some hesitation on administering vaccines simultaneously. So um, the CDC had recommended about a 10 day spread between vaccines, but they found through you know, a lot of studies that they'd done that it's OK to receive the COVID vaccine as well as other vaccines at the same time. That includes the influenza vaccine. Since Pfizer was approved by the FDA on Monday, Jayhawk Pharmacy says they have actually seen a big increase in patients willing to get the COVID vaccine with that within the past few days. The key takeaway in all of this is with COVID cases on the rise and flu season right around the corner, health officials are encouraging people to get vaccinated for both. Live in Southwest West Topeka, covering local news that matters, Cassie Nichols, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Cassie. Good advice there. Good to know you can get both without there being some type of illness or injury that's going to pop up from them. Now, tonight in Kansas, hospitals 